this band. We are back in the garage again working on the Skylark for hopefully one of the last few times before I can officially declare this thing good enough to ignore. Now there's only a handful of things left with it that I consider really an issue and I've dressed most of them off camera. One of the last big things to do is to lower the front of it because this thing is nose high like it's trying to run some no prep. And then really the only other big thing with it is wiring up the lights, headlights, taillights, brake lights. Uh, blinkers would be a plus. We'll see if we have time to do that in today's video I've got some other things that I need to take care of soon like uh, wiring up this guy's car um, So I'll probably just get the front of this lowered and then Like I said, we'll call it good enough to ignore for a while and I'll back it out of the garage And then I can get to work on this thing. It's already got the wheel off on the driver's side here We're not gonna do anything fancy with this car. This is kind of a low buck throw together uh, hot rod it does have a Gen 4.53 and a 4L80. We threw some 410 gears in the back ourselves. Um, this four-wheel disc brake conversion is just pieced together with uh, random stuff that I could find here and there, pretty much. We got LS1 front brakes. LS1 front brakes are off like a 2000 Camaro. The rear is just some GM metric junk that you can find at pretty much any circle track. <laughs> the engine, like I said, is a Gen 4.53, so it does have those Gen 4 rods that uh, are really nice. So I'm kind of unfortunate that I'm wasting them on an NA motor. For now, we'll see. In the future, I'd like to throw some boost at this thing. I do have uh, the nitrous nozzle in the intake, just in case I felt like getting froggy. Um, but I think most of the nitrous stuff we have, we got rid of. So that's a shame. Um, but yeah, I'd really like to put some sort of centrifugal on this thing. Make sure that's not hitting the pulley. We're still good there. Um... I got a bunch of turbo stuff laying around, but I've already got such a nice exhaust system on this thing that I don't want to pull it apart to put a turbo on this thing. So I'd like to do some bolt-on boost with it. Anyway, um, yeah, it is a Gen 4.53. It does have 243 heads, which are pretty good, so it's in the neighborhood of like 9.5 to 1 compression, I think. Could be close to 10 to 1, depending on gasket thicknesses and stuff like that. Um, BBK SSI intake, which I got like five or six years ago from a uh, neighbor across the street from my dad. Um, shout out to Andre. Uh, that was actually on the RX-7 when that thing went 9.5 at 140. Uh, and then the cam is just an eBay sloppy stage two cam. Believe it or not, this one I actually did legit get for free because I ordered one for the uh, Dime a Dozen S10. That's, as far as I know, still in the truck uh, in the S10. Um, but there was like a, a scratch on one of the lobes I think on that so I sent the company that I bought it from an email and I was like hey this thing's junk turns out it wasn't junk because it's been like two years now um, and they ended up sending me a new one threw it in this <laughs> so a win's a win so I now have officially um, well technically that has an eBay <laughs> sloppy stage 2 cam in it too so like $350 worth of cams in three vehicles. This thing seems to run pretty good. I've put probably about 10, 15 miles on it so far. Just cruising around, took it to a car show. Um, that thing, it's only been running for like a few minutes at a time. Uh, and then the S10, uh, Brandon, who has it now, Brandon actually owns that Monte Carlo over there. Um, Brandon, who has the S10 now, uh, has made quite a few rips in that thing. Um, blew up the original motor that was in it, and now it has another one in it. Same cam though, so that's tight. Anyway, I'm starting to ramble. My whole point is that this is just a low buck thing, nothing special. So we're going to kind of keep it that way. Because I mentioned in the last video that I was going to cut the springs. A few people did not like that. There are still a lot of people that are like, you should never cut springs and it fucks them all up. I disagree. I think that's just basic entry level hot rodding is cutting some springs to lower your shit. So that is exactly what we're going to do today. These, I have no idea what springs they are. Uh, I'm assuming they're the stock ones, but a lot of stuff's been weird on this car. All right. So trying to keep this as simple as possible. Obviously we'll have to pull the shock out. Um, have to pop the steering off. 
have to pop the sway bar off and then pop the lower ball joint. Might be able to swing this up and find like a bungee cord or something to hold that up and then pry the uh, lower control arm down and have the coil spring just rock it out of there, wipe my knees out and uh, I'm sitting on the couch for a few months. So I'm gonna start pulling the driver's side apart and see how much damage we can do. All right, so I got the tie rod off, the sway bar, the nut is off the bottom. Uh, the shock is already out of it. Got the uh, lower ball joint nut cracked loose. So I'm just going to undo that a little bit, not take it all the way off. I like to go to where the nut is flush with the top of the stud. And now, with any luck, ah, I smashed my finger on the rotor. I need a heavier hammer. There we go. I see it pop up. Now, I need to get a jack under the control arm so that when I undo the nut, it doesn't bah! explode apart. <laughs> Because I've made that mistake before. Alright. Cast the nut is off for the lower ball joint. Now, the scary part. Let me get out of the line of direct path with that spring. There we go. Now I should be able to Rustle that spring out of there. All right, so I got a ratchet strap to the bottom of it. I think that's about as far as she wants to go. So now we can get a pry bar in there and pop, pop her up. How did that hurt me more than anything else? You fucker. All right, so. To note, this flat side is at the top, so we're going to cut it off the bottom. That is our plan. Alright, so here is the spring off the driver's side. Uh, and I took some measurements before I started this, uh, under full ride height. Drove it in here, parked it, took measurements. Um, from the floor to the fender was 27 inches from the bottom lip of the rim to the top of the fender, right about here, was 23 and a half. And the other side was overall about a half inch lower. So I'd like to drop it about an uh, inch and a half, maybe two inches. If I go about two to two and a half, then I wanna lower the rear too. If I go about two, then I think I can leave the rear alone and just kind of match the front to the rear. Because, I mean, the rear's kind of up a little bit just from the nose teetering on the jack stand. Um, but the rear's not too terrible. So I was initially going to cut three quarters of a coil off this side, half in, or half coil off that side. I don't really know if that's going to make much of a difference. It might, though. It's not too hard to pull this apart, so I think I'll start with this side. I'll probably cut the three-quarter, put it in there, just hook the uh, ball joint up, set the wheel on it, set this thing down on its weight, um, and then see how it's looking. Depending on how this goes, um, we'll determine how much I cut off the other side. back in the car see how everything fits all right got the spring in lower ball joint hooked up wheel is on now the moment of truth let me get things out of the way here 
Let's see how it sits. Oh, let me make sure that this tie rod isn't gonna get stuck. Alright. Can't actually tell if it's any lower than it was. I think I'm gonna have to put it in neutral and roll it back and forth a little bit. Alright, roll it back and forth a few times. Still doesn't look like I lowered it at all which is kind of crazy. Let's see where we're at. It is exactly the same as it was. How does that make sense? What? It must be the other side helping hold it up, I guess. That is crazy. It didn't change it at all. Huh? All right, well, uh, I'm gonna pull this side back apart, I guess, and I'm gonna cut um, probably probably another half coil off of this side, and then I'll just do one full coil off the other side, and wherever it lands, it lands, I guess, at this point, because it is, you guys see, it is humid in here. I know it's not as hot as some of you guys down south, but man, the humidity is horrible. Um, and I have to turn my fan off when I start filming so you guys can hear what I'm saying. Um, so yeah, I'm just going to pull the side back apart, cut another half coil off this one. That'll put it at uh, one and a quarter coils. And then I'll just cut one full coil off the other side. And wherever it lands, it lands. If it's too low, I can put one of those spacer blocks in there, and we'll just not worry about it. This car doesn't need some crazy suspension. It's just a cruiser for now. For now. Um, yeah, so I just want it to look good. All right. Whew. I don't remember touching my face so much. All right, got the uh, car all back together. Both sides done. Cut one coil off the passenger side. Like I said earlier, about a coil and a quarter off the uh, driver's side. Let's lower it down. I think it's lower. It's kind of hard to tell. Huh. Yeah, let's roll it forward and backwards a bit. Let the thing settle. So I'm just going to pull the car out. What the hell is dripping? Oh, brake line. Okay. Well, at least it was on the glass, I guess.
All right, brought it back in for round two, and it's sitting way better. Still need to make some tweaks here and there. Um, down the road, I do think I'm going to get some different springs for it. Right now, we're just kind of trying to manipulate the stock springs to get by in the in the looks department. But yeah, down the road, I'm definitely going to get some different springs for it. Maybe some coilovers if I decide to keep the car, which right now, I don't know, money would be nice. But when am I going to be able to buy one of these cars again? So yeah, check that thing out. Way better. Way better. The front tires are just barely tucked. The backs, I lowered um, probably about an inch or so. So it's got just a, a little bit of downhill to the front. This thing looks great. The only downside is the, the shock body <laughs> in the front is a little too long. So it's kind of bottoming out. Um, could be the shocks. Could be the uh, bump stops need to be cut. I don't think that though. got about an inch to the bump stop right and hair over an inch maybe and then this side is a little bit lower this side I, I want to say is like a half inch lower which is annoying but I can live with it for the time being for spending eight bucks to lower it <laughs> I'll take it. So there's basically two things left to do to this. Um, transmission's making a weird noise, which is a big bummer. Didn't really want to pull it. Um, I'm gonna try a couple things first before I go to just pulling it out. Um, worst case scenario, I have to get it all rebuilt. And then I have to wire all the lights up, which isn't a big deal. That should only be like a half day job trying to make things kind of nice. I'd like to use the stock switches for the lights. Uh, not sure. I can. I imagine I can probably get the blinkers to work. But the only things I'm concerned with right now are uh, headlights, high beams, tail lights, brake lights, and then this thing's done. So we're at kind of like the 95% mark. Um, just the point of driving it, putting some miles on it, finding things that uh, need to be addressed. Which I did find something. Um, one of the battery cables. Um, one section of it wasn't zip tied and it was rubbing somewhere so took care of that just little things like that is really all that's left and then just drive the hell out of this thing <laughs> I love it man it looks killer it needs some tint real bad so that's gonna do it for today's video hope you guys enjoyed it thank you for watching thank you for subscribing clicking that bell to get notifications if you need anything from snakey to performance use code Snydertron for 10% off your complete order and I'll see you guys next time peace